So you're new to Genshin, you do a 10 pull and you get five star Sino. Now, what do you get with Sino besides another character whose beginner guide I forgot to make when their banner was current. So now I'm doing it with the help of one of my community members, Akio. So thank you for letting me use your account, Akio. Well, Sino is a pole arm wielding electro user character. who is a great addition to like aggravate, quick bloom or hyper bloom teams. I'm Kessie, Mango, whatever the hell you want to call me. Because not everybody is AR60 with 36 Star Abyss, I decided that I was gonna make videos that hopefully anybody can understand. So if you learned something from this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And with that being said, let's get into this video. All right, so like we always do, we are going to look at the current build of the character for the video, just in case you go back to your game and you're like, man, I'm not hitting the same numbers that that random guy on YouTube that I found that I'm now subscribed to was doing in his video. Well, it could just be a difference in level. It could be different artifact sets. It, it could be that this character is fully built and just really, really good. So you're not going to hit the same numbers as them. But it also is a good look ahead at what a future build for this character can look like. So we have level 72. That's Akio Y72. Um, with 2100 attack, uh, EM 120 with 46 over 117 crit damage, energy recharge 112. 46% electro damage bonus. We have primordial jade winged spear at level 90 on this Sino. So for artifacts, we have four piece gilded, which is one of Sino's best in slot artifact sets. C zero, uh, one, two, five. So actually talents are not that high. So that's, that's actually pretty good. So, Akio did build a party for me to use in this video of Sino, Coco, Yelon, and Nahida. You know, I will go ahead and do a run with this party to kind of show you what he can do, but that'll be after we talk about a beginner friendly party. So that'll be at the very, very end of this video. But first we're just going to talk about Sino's normal attacks, skill and burst. Okay. So I believe that Sino's normal attacks are going to be a five hit one, two, three, four, five. And his charge attack is going to be a normal spear charge attack where he just kind of lunges through the enemy. Now we're going to look at his skill. His skill is going to do like a lunging attack that is going to apply electro to the enemy. As you can see right there, beautiful jump, beautiful execution, beautiful lunge and application of electro. Now we are going to look at his burst and then we're also going to talk about his skill again. So his burst is going to imbue his normal attacks with Electro. As you can now see, he's doing Electro damage instead of doing physical damage with his spear. So you notice I moved my camera in case you, in case you didn't see the last video with Ayato. I was covering up, wrong way. I was covering up the talent stuff on the opposite end. Uh, I fixed it, I fixed it. Um, okay, so if we, when you use his burst, he does gain elemental mastery along with getting the electro infusion and he gains resistance to interruption. He also gains immunity to electro charge damage, which is interesting. Now, if he leaves the field, it will cancel his burst. So that does make him an on field damage dealer. He does have to be on field for him to do damage. He does not have any off field application. If you look right here on his skill, it says if you use his skill when he's under the effect of his burst, that's what all of this means, he will do an instance of AOE electro damage as well as extend the duration of his burst. So that is what we are going to do. So we're going to do his burst again, and this time we're going to be using his skill every time its cooldown has ended. So we're going to use his burst, and great way to start. We're going to use his skill. Now you saw the AOE electro damage. It does make his burst last longer. We are just going to continuously be using his skill every single time that cooldown has ended to extend how long his burst can go. And you see it is lasting a lot longer. So that is going to be his normal attack, his skill, and his burst. Like I did say, he is an on-field damage dealer. If you swap him off the field, then his burst is going to end. Now we are going to talk about artifacts. So four artifacts for a beginner artifact set, running a four piece instructor set is going to be really good for him for that elemental mastery. 
So you can get Kale for free through the Spiral Abyss and having that Elemental Master on him for Quicken and Hyper Bloom and Quick Bloom teams is going to be phenomenal. Now, I do not have a beginner guide video on YouTube about Quick Bloom or Hyper Bloom. Uh, I think the only ones that I've done so far are like Electro Charge and, and Overload and Vape. But I will be doing that. If you do have questions about that, I do have videos on my TikTok. That if you go on my TikTok and you just comment, hey, Cassie, uh, you said something about a Quick Bloom video and I can't find it. I will find it and I will tag you in it. So as far as the main stats go for your artifacts, attack percent or elemental mastery will be really, really good here, uh, especially if you're using them in a team that's going to have like electro charged or quicken or aggravate or anything like that. This will be really, really good for him. For um, a goblet, doing electro damage bonus will be great. And then for circlet, doing a crit rate or crit damage on that will be better for aggravate or quick bloom teams i think he just did attack percent just to get the four piece set so it looks like akio did attack percent here just to get the gilded dreams four piece set but doing crit rate or crit damage would be better if you can so for three star weapons which three star pole arms there's not many of them there's only a couple a black tassel and white tassel that might be the only two white tassel if you have it i've only gotten one white tassel it looks like he's only gotten one white tassel too it gets up your crit rate and it increases your normal attack damage by 24%. This would be a great three-star polearm to put onto Sino early game. So for a beginner-friendly team, only using characters that the game gives you for free, plus Sino, we're going to look at Barbara, Kale, and Lynette. Now, we're going to use Barbara to create Hydro for some blooms, Kale for Quicken and to also create the blooms of Dendro, and Lynette to Swirl. If we can get Hydro into more characters, we can create more blooms, and the game does not give you another Hydro character. Now, if you have Traveler, you can go to Fontaine, resonate with Hydro there. You can have Animo Traveler to Swirl Hydro as well. So the way that this is going to work is that we're going to use Kale's Boomerang, which will spin around Sino, and Barbara's skill, which will stay around Sino, to create blooms. If we need crowd control, that's what we have Lynette for with her burst. So we are going to use Barbara's skill, Kale's skill, go to Sino, activate his burst, and we are just going to be doing quick and aggravates, bloom every reaction that we possibly can and we're gonna ride his burst out until it ends because if we take him off the field it ends anyway which we don't want to happen but we have his burst ready to go again already so we're gonna go back to barbara we're gonna use kale's skill kale burst go to sino same thing we're just gonna keep causing aggravate keep causing blooms that is what we want to do electro charge is even is even good electro charge is even good again we have his burst ready to go so we're gonna go to barbara start it all all over again right picked up the hydra which is awesome that's what we want to which is really where Lynette comes in with her burst, is if you can make it pick up Hydro, then you can cause more blooms for Sino to Hyper Bloom. So this would be a pretty decent rotation for early game, uh, especially if you were able to get Kale uh, through the Spiral Abyss. If you were not able to do Kale, then I would probably just be trying to either get over to Sumeru to get Dendro Traveler, or you could be doing like another Hydro character. You can do a lot that allows Sino to just go crazy with his Electro Element. And now we're going to use the party that Akio pre-built for me to use in this video to really show off what Sino can do. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Nahida. And we're going to set up her burst. Drop Coco. Get some Hyper Bloom going. We need his burst up. Using Yelon's burst. Which is really, really good. There we go. Now we got his burst. So we're just going to be causing hyper blooms like crazy. We're going to be causing aggravate, quicken, electro charge, the whole shebang with this, which is crazy. Oh, 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 got frozen, got frozen, got frozen. Still got the burst going though. All right. So we're going to go back to Nahida, set back up her burst, mark both of them. Coco, 
for some healing. Yalon. Gotcha. Get her burst going again. All those hyper blooms, which is awesome. I should have burst up in just a second. Go. So that is how a built full Sino team would look with Hyper Bloom, Aggravate, Quickens, and Electro Charges, which is crazy. Quick Bloom teams, that would be a Quick Bloom team. Quick Bloom teams are so much fun. I do not need to actually claim that. This is not my account. And that is going to be it for the beginner guide to Sino. If you learned anything, do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next video.